We're looking at uh, lot one. Uh, this is uh, the famed lot one sow. This is 304-4. Uh, she's a Hampshire sow, uh, December 19 model, sired by open bar, uh, and then out of a click 285 blindfold sow. And, and there's a whole lot to talk about here from a pedigree standpoint. And uh, I'll try to run through that as quickly as I can and let Boots tell you a little bit about what she's generated. But open bar would have been a Watson boar that we acquired in the Fecky acquisition. Uh, that was a boar that was in their herd boar pens that we used here that first season. And, and he actually sired some really neat pigs. Um, if I could go back again, I'd love to have some frozen semen on open bar. Bottom side is where some of the intrigue for me comes. Uh, this sow is a click 285 and, and she's actually a litter mate. The mother of this one is a litter mate to the sow that Platt would have bought at Sweethearts several years ago. She was a very expensive baby pig, um, and her, her career as a sow far outpaced uh, her career as a show guilt. And, you know, if you look at Travis's Hampshire program, uh, I don't know that everything that he has goes back to her, but nearly everything uh, there in the Platt show pig program, Hampshire-wise, goes back to that Click 285 sow. Travis's sow would be a litter mate to the mother of this one. Uh, this sow, again, 304-4, is bred to Rumble Strip. Uh, Rumble Strip is a Rumble Sun. Uh, Rumble's the Lancaster boar that'll actually sell in the wind dispersal. Um, Rumble Strip is a boar that I, I, I found, got really excited about at the Missouri State Fair of all places. Uh, got excited about him, got him bought, got him home, got him collected right away. And this was one of the very first ones we bred to him, and she's due mid-December. Yeah, this sow, uh, you know, your first impression um, is, man, she is stout. And that, I, I can promise you, that is to the bone. Um, she is heavy, heavy duty. Um, but probably the most impressive part about this sow is probably what she's generated so far, um, particularly that uh, the bear that won Phoenix and was fifth overall last year and then ended up reserve at Denver. Um, that bear was very, very good. He had every ounce of stoutness that his mom has, but he was as sharp-headed and tight-eared um as probably as what they get for the breed and was very attractive looking up front and honestly that's probably the most uh i guess uh, kind of confusing factor about this sow is she is just a little heavier eared but so far um her offspring that have been competitive have been extremely good up front um her most recent one would have been the Geyer guilt that was shown this summer um, they would have showed her at expo um, I believe she won the Hampshires at Springfield and then was in the top five Hampshires there at Louisville. She was fifth overall. Fifth overall yep. Hampshire. And again, she was one that was gorgeous built and you can't make them any better from the side and up front and um, very good built and very athletic. And honestly, this sow does an incredible job of, of transmitting her build, her height of shoulder, her length of hip and their running gear and having just an, a crazy good look up front, but also coming with just that extra shot of stoutness and feature and hair and uh, both those, but uh, both those pigs out of her past two litters have been incredibly well, well incredibly well received and uh, very very fun to study for the Hampshire breed. And so I think I'll just close you know uh, if, if you followed our program here over the last couple of years we have we have intensely line bred Top Gun uh, we're now uh, we've got triple bred Top Gun stuff and you know this is one of the few here in our program that has zero Top Gun influence on top and bottom uh, she's obviously worked to throw back really well, which is what both the Phoenix Barra, the Denver Barra, of course, the same. And then the Geyer Guilt this summer, those were all throwbacks. Uh, and then we've shied away again here on the Top Gun side and used Rumble Strip uh, to keep her kind of in her own lane. So this is lot one, 304-4. She's bred to Rumble Strip due December 14th.